In this video, we're gonna be using the TI Inspire CX2 CAS in order to do some vector arithmetic, things like subtracting vectors, dot product, cross product. And this is gonna be a super helpful video to speed up your fluency with the calculator so that in tech active exams, you can do all these things really rapidly and you don't have to do the arithmetic by hand. So on the screen, I've got a question here. I'm gonna use this as an example for all of the different uh, types of vector stuff on the calculator I wanna show you. If you want to see this question from start to finish properly, like without using the calculator, uh, feel free to click on the video that's on screen now. I've got an example going through that. But for now, I'm gonna go through this really quickly. First, I wanna define the position vectors A, B, and C. So A, control template, gives me this colon with an equals. This is your definition symbol. So whatever I put here is, that's what A is gonna be defined as. So I'm gonna define A as a, uh, a matrix. So uh, in the calculator, a vector is just a row matrix. So the long way is to go menu, then matrix and vector, and then create, and then matrix. And then you can go, well, I want one row and our three dimensional vectors tab to go down is three columns. And then you can hit okay. And that'll give you the template for it. And then for example, vector A is zero, one and one and hit enter. And that's gonna define A as that vector. Vectors B and C are gonna be the same, but I'm gonna show you the shortcut using this template functionality here. So B is defined as, hit the template button again, not with control this time, because I don't want the blue symbol above, I want just the regular. And then all of these are shortcuts for your commonly used templates. This one here, the three by three matrix is the one to bring up the matrix. Uh, insert tool, I guess. Uh, so we want one row three columns is okay, so we'll click okay. And now we're gonna define B as two, one, zero. So two, one, and zero. And you can see that's much faster. And then finally, we've got C is defined as one row, and it's gonna be negative two, zero, and three, and hit enter. So now I have A, B, and C all defined. In order to find the Cartesian equation of the plane, which is what the question wants, I need to find a normal to the plane, which is gonna require finding two vectors on the plane. So we're gonna use these three points to generate two vectors. So I'm gonna generate the vector AB, and I'm also gonna generate the vector AC. So to get A to B, that's the same as B minus A. So now I'm gonna define AB as the vector B minus the vector A and there's my vector there. It really is as simple as that on the calculator. And it's also why I recommend you go ahead and you define all of the vectors. And so you can just use the, the I just pointed to the screen, you can't see that. So you can just use the letters in order to represent the vectors. You don't have to type them in over and over and over, which is time consuming. So B minus A is the vector AB and similarly AC is going to be defined as C minus A. And there are two vectors that lay on the plane. Now, in order to find the normal, uh, which is a vector perpendicular to the plane, I need to do the cross product between these two vectors. So again, the long way is to go, might be the short way on the actual calculator, but menu, matrix, and vector. And this time you do go down to vector and find the cross product function here. So it's just cross P. So you can go through the menus to do that. Alternatively, if you're faster at typing, you can just type in cross P bracket and then you're ready to go with that function. Uh, all we have to do is insert the two vectors, so A, B, and separate them with a comma. A, B, and A, C are gonna get cross-producted now, and that is my normal to the plane. I should probably define that, so I'm just gonna click normal, define, at, uh, end for normal, define as, and then just navigate up and hit enter, and I'm gonna define N as this vector now. So, nearly there. To define uh, the Cartesian equation of a plane. I know that it's just gonna be the normal vector multiplied with some vector R, which is X, Y, Z. Sorry, dot producted with it, which is gonna give me uh, negative X. I'll just type it in here. Negative X minus two Y minus two Z. And that's going to equal, uh, get rid of this answer here. Okay, so that's gonna equal some point on the plane dot producted with the normal. Now I've defined three points on the plane up here and I've got my normal vector down here. So all I have to do is dot product one of those two together and similar to cross product, I'm just gonna delete this now. Similar to cross product, it's just dot P. 
So you can navigate through the menus just like cross product or you can just type DOTP, so dot product and then bracket and put in the two vectors you want to dot product. In this case, I'm going to dot product the normal comma with any of these three points. Let's just pick point A, close that and hit enter and I get negative four. So therefore my entire Cartesian equation of the plane is the normal with X, Y, and Z's after them. So negative X minus two Y minus two Z. And that's going to be equal to this negative four here. Alternatively, you could multiply the entire thing by negative one and have X plus two Y plus two Z equals positive four. It doesn't really matter. That's the equation of my plane. So to summarize in this video, we have learned how to, first of all, define a vector. We've learned how to do some basic vector arithmetic. You can just do B minus A to subtract vectors. If I did want to just add two vectors together, by the way, I could just do A plus B or let's just do my new uh, normal vector. So that's just adding A and the normal vector together for whatever reason. You wouldn't do that, but you can. So basic vector arithmetic, we'll learn how to do cross product with cross P and dot product with dot P. That's all there is to it really. Um, hopefully this will speed up your answers in exams with regard to vectors.